Buongiorno, buonasera, benvenuti amici, welcome my friends and welcome to my channel Fountain Pen Therapy. I have another ink review for you and this time it's the series from Van Diemen's um, by the name of Voyagers. It's a series of four inks and I got to tell you Van Diemen's is, you know, uh, uh, just uh, coming out with inks almost on a weekly basis. It's very hard to keep up. I get an order and I have to order more. <laughs> Uh, this is a series uh, dedicated to uh, extraordinary explorers uh, who charted, you know, new territories, redefined boundaries. Uh, you know, it embodies the, the, the spirit of adventure. And you have um, uh, the the first one by the name of, and now I'm going to butcher these names, about Willowar Benelong. Uh, then you have K. Cody. You then have, and this is going to be a tough one, Hemer Shurik and Zianen. And then you have Gudrid Farr. So these are the four inks. Uh, sorry about butchering those names, but let's get to the inks, will you? So give me a second. Over at camera, and we'll do some swatching. Okay, we're back with my swatching tools, and I believe this is a shimmering ink. So the first one is the uh, Gudrid Far Traveler. And my macro is going, lens is going a little bit crazy, so I apologize for that until it, it, it sees me working. It doesn't stop. Okay, here we go. I have my folded pen. And let's, uh, let's do the first swatch. Okay, so this is a really nice blue. That's what I gather here. So this is again Van Diemen's. And this is Goodrid Far. And I receive these inks on July the eighth, twenty twenty three. Okay, so that's the first swatch. Let me just uh, clean up my nibs, dry them out. The next one on the list is um, K. Cody. And again, it's a shimmering ink. So let me shake that up. And I apologize, the camera is going a little nuts. Okay. Another very nice blue. Just a, a little darker from what I can gather. So once again, Van Diemen's. K. Cody. And it's July 8, 2023. By the way, I'm really happy with the fact that I've switched to this uh, nib. It beats, it beats all the glass pens and all the steel steel turned nibs I, I mean this is the best one it gives me it gives me first of all it gives me uh, my, my satisfaction of being able to use a a um, a stub okay and it it's nice and thick so I can actually see what this ink uh, you know can do so I'm really really happy and I mean I, there they were I I had them in my drawers and uh, never never occurred to me th to use them. And I've been struggling to find the ideal writing swatch. And I think I did. Okay, next. This is the Eam, Sherrick, and Zian. I, I'm positive I'm not pronouncing that right, but in any event. What's important is that you get to see the 
that you get to see the swatch of the ink so you can appreciate it and you can decide whether or not it's something that you want to buy, purchase, or if you want to pass. There we go. So this, at the end, should give me kind of a brown with greenish tints. So we'll see if that's what uh, the end result yields. So that's Van Diemen's. And it's, my God, to try to spell that, heme. Skirik and Zane, well, it won't fit, so and that's July 8, 2023. It's supposed to give me a kind of a greenish overtone somewhere, but I, according to the the bottle, but I don't see that happening. And this is Tomo River, so you, you see what I'm saying? Uh, it's supposed to give me, oops, here we go, kind of a brown with some little bit of green sheen there, but I got to tell you, I don't see the green at all. Uh, I see the brown, but I don't see the green. So anyway, well, let's give it a, let's give it a chance to dry, and then uh, maybe it'll surprise me. Next ink, it's another standard ink. It's not a sheen. And this is the Woolawar. Woolawar Benelong. There we go. Wow. Van Demons. This is the Wolar War. And it's July eight, twenty twenty three. Okay, so that completes that swatching. This one is supposed to kind of give me a, a lightish a brown with some pinkish uh, shading, which is which is what this is giving me. Sorry, I don't think I had, was in focus there. Um, so that's what it's giving me. So you know what? Let's uh, give me a few seconds so that these, dry, these inks dry up so that it'll give us a better look at them, and I'll be right back. So we're back with the swatches all dried up. And as you could see, the first one has a little bit of red sheen in it. Although in the writing, I, it doesn't really come out. Second one has some silver shimmer there. Um, same thing with the handwriting. Um, originally, I thought this brown would not show the green. It does show some of the green, as you can see there. And then this last one, which is a lighter brown with a pinkish overtone. That's on this uh, small swatches. Then if we can look at the swatches I use for my video, as you could see, there's a little more. Um, first of all, this is the last one. So the pinkish, as you could see, the pink is, is, is there, uh, is, is predominant. Um, this is the lighter, lighter blue, the uh, uh, Goodred Far, as you could see. But you could see some of that red sheen coming through there, especially when we uh, go against the light here. So you could see the red sheen there. And this is the one I wanted to show you that it does correspond to the to what they're promoting, which is brown with the green. I can see the green here. I see very little green on the smaller swatch, but in this swatch you can you can tell. And there was a big blob here that had to dry up. Otherwise, if that would have been a little bit less ink there i got a feeling all of that would have been green as well and and then the, my last one which is a real really came out nice look at this uh, this uh, k cody 
um, I think is even nicer in the bigger swatch. You can really get to see the sheen, the shimmer, and the shading. Uh, very, very nice. So uh, those are the bigger swatches. I figured I'd I share that with you. This is on Life paper, by the way. Um, small notebook. And um, this other one, uh, small notebook, which is this thing here, um, Noble uh, Life. And this one is on Toma River. So there you have it. Hyoptek gives you a, a good indication of what these four inks are all about. And please subscribe. Enjoy your inks. Enjoy your pens. Enjoy your paper. It's all fountain pen therapy. Good day.